Okay, yeah. big back streets. She just laid that on me like that. Right so, right you know what I'm saying? Well, damn. Okay, big back streets, man. We got my homie. You know Long overdue, man. I appreciate you for rocking with me on this good old Thursday, man. Back streets with Cole, man. Let everybody know who you is, where you're from, and what you got going. For sure. My name is Miller, better known as L4L by Miller. Um, stands for Live for Love, Love What You're Doing in Life, Live for What You Love to Do. You know, we here in H-Town, we hey. got them good R&B bars for your ass. That way. Yes, indeed. For the people that don't know, how did you get your name? Um, L for L by Miller. I mean, people call me Miller already because that's part of my name, my full name. Okay. Um, But the L for L, I've been repping Live for Love. I don't know, it's just been something that I, I literally came up with. Like in college and stuff. I was like, man, it's like life is all about just living for love, you know? So I just been, you know, living by that. And, you know, when it came time to make an artist name, I wanted to stand out and, you know, what was available, you know, Miller's took in, Jay mm. Miller's took in, you know, so I had to. L but none of that was the inspiration, though, to Jay Miller's or none of that? Huh? Was anybody else like the. Cause I know it's another artist name. Jay Miller, yeah. 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 None of that. Oh, okay. My 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 um full first name is Jamila, so it's J A M. -I -L -L. Made perfect yeah. sense, so they don't made up name y'all. Nah, Big nah, bad nah. streets with Cole, man. We right. All real. Man, the latest project. Talk about some of the music that you I done seen you perform personally, but that you didn't been dropping over the past year. Man, uh, my first drop um, was two songs. Um, Here we go again, and Text. the other one was um, You Got to Fight, and then I did another double single release. Um, which was screaming and whatever mm. and then in between there I got some featured tracks with um, a couple of other artists and stuff like that too okay. Who was some of the right influences? Huh? Who was some of the influences? Um, influences? Um, I grew up on a back, um, background of church, you know, in the choir and stuff So I have a lot of gospel influences mm. um, Like B.B., C.C. and Mary Favorite Mary singer? And Who your favorite gospel singer then? <sighs> if you just I had know, to pick CC is the goat. Okay. That's part of the gospel. Like I like CC. How she delivered. How she, you know, her stage presence. Like she ain't all. She just, you know, she yeah. get right there. Her with and the grace, mic yes. and with all that, you still feel her energy. You know, so CC for sure. You know, Fantasia. Gospel. Okay. Yeah, Fantasia, Brandy. You know, Brandy was the first uh, CD I, my dad bought me. You know, that uh, what was it ever. Ever ever after something like that, her first CD ever dropped. That was what my first CD. You say I'm gonna go and do it. I mean, I feel like I had the talent to do it. You know, I feel like it was my my calling. It was my gift. You know, my God's gift was just like you know I can sing pretty good. Mm -hmm. you know? Pretty good, um, stop it. You know, but like for real, and I was just like I need to do something with it. And if I don't do something with it, I'm gonna lose it. You mm -hmm. know, so. And then, you know, just the way I, um, you know, think and think about life, I feel like, you know, all my songs have a message and, you know, it's just, I feel like my message needs to be, other people need to get a message as well, so. Mm. Is R&B still alive? Hell yeah. Okay. Fuck it with me. I'm bringing it back though. I, I got it. Okay. I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm working up the nerve for it to, like, be bold about it, but, you know, on the inside of me, it's like I'm bold about it, but. You know, being that you in the city, you mostly surrounded by a lot of rappers. Like, how do you, I guess, find your lane to like stand out and still stay on your path and stay in your lane as true, true to who you are as far as your artistry? Um, I'm standing out at shows. Mm -hmm. I'm easily, you know, catching people's attention when they hear me. Um, you know, so I love the, the when people come up to me and. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you know, just to get their reaction, to get their feedback, what they love, you know, just to hear them say, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, man, that shit hit me hard, man. Like, you know, it's mm -hmm. you know, pretty cool. I feel that drop some advice for the upcoming singers in the city. Um, advice? Don't give up, just keep going. It takes a, uh, it takes a strong individual to, to be in an industry like this, period. But, oh. man. It really do. You just gotta grind. You gotta believe in yourself. You know, when nobody else is really listening or believing, you just gotta keep going. If you believe it, you gotta keep going and doing it. And um, you know, take mm. care of your paperwork. Take care of your, you know, your music, your your lyrics. Take care of all that. You know, have it all in the bag with you. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, 
it takes money to, in this business too, you know. Like Fucking takes, hell of money. It takes a bag to even just, mm. you know, make it make it feel like you're doing something. Now, anything you're doing, you gotta you gotta have you a bag gotta fight for it too. It. Uh -huh. Man, it's crazy. What's one of your favorite songs off just the project? So you like to perform? Uh, all my songs I love to perform. Okay. Yeah, but this last recent, um, this recent release I did was Screaming and Whatever. Mm -hmm. I think them, um, them two is my favorite, but you know, I still got You Gotta Fight, which is the motivational song of 2022. Like, and here we go again. It's just like, you know, bars on bars. So <laughs> they all hitting. Man, here we go again. Man, I, I don't really have no faith. Cause like <laughs> I, I say, say, I love to be in the shit. element and just, like I say, shit. When I first heard you, shit, you surprised the shit out of me. Right, right, right. Like I said, I was like, damn, okay, shit. Yeah, then you just kept performing, performing. Mm -hmm. What's it like on being on stage in front of the people and get, seeing the fucking reaction and right. motherfuckers not knowing what to expect? Right. I mean, it feels good. I mean... I came a long way as far as like just stay, stage presence and mm. you know performing like from the very first time at the getaway until now you know then being a familiar person there and people being used to me and people coming up to me and things like that so it's pretty cool I mean I don't know it's it's all pretty pretty awesome just to be doing, <laughs> just to be up. just to be doing what you know doing what you love to do you I know? feel that is it hard to get the support um sometimes I, I mean you can say that but you know you only get Get so much, you know, get what you put in that way. out of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if you're constantly in people's faces and you're constantly, you know, in their ear, then they have no choice but to respect that. And eventually, they'll gravitate to the music or just gravitate to you as a person. Yeah. That's what I've been doing ever since. The Houston treat you good, like, as far as the scene, the music scene? Yeah, Because mm -hmm. back in the day, I was, I was performing and stuff, like, with fire and... Um, oh yeah! Back in the day, like years and years ago, I would be performing. I never had any music out. I just be performing. How songs. back in the day we talking? Maybe like six years ago, like a okay. long time ago. And then I took like a two year break, and then that's when I came came out with two songs. Mm hmm. Okay, backstreet shit. Mm -hmm. Why is it important for you to be so personal in your songs? Because like I say, some some of your songs are very, like I say, very deep. Let me right. say that. Said, you know, I feel like it's just a message, you know. Um, I mean, I'm going through it, you know. Right. I, mean, I think it's just like every, you know, everyday life shit. People go through stuff and oh, these yeah. songs. Yeah. yeah, you dissed it, man. Mm -hmm. You dissed it, man. What's next for the whole brand? Talk more um, about the brand a little bit. A live for love, yeah, a live for love brand. I'm, I'm trying to put it together to where it, you know, it's legit. You know, like I don't want to. Um, come half step it, you know what I'm saying? I want to have it mm -hmm. all the way, all the way. You know, anything I do, I want it to be all the way, all the way 100, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, the clothing is coming, the hats are coming. I know people are crazy about the hats, you know, the uh, live for love clothing and shorts. I'm gonna try the socks and all type of stuff. So. No, and you are independent, sign. What's the uh, situation like? I'm independent, um, okay. management with a with um, Nate and Soren High. Shout out Soren High. Yeah. What it's like being over there? Cause y'all do a lot. Y'all do a lot of shit. Then y'all, mm -hmm. well, prior to the pandemic, but y'all hit a lot of cities and yeah, stuff. Yeah. What it's like being over there, Soren High? Um, Soren High is cool. Like I said before, I think um, having management is is pretty cool because they get you to the doors. You know, they get you to different doors. Mm. You know, and it's up to you. That, you know, when you get to that door, to take advantage of it and do what you do. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. for that door, but. Um, it's pretty cool. Like, I ain't never been to Atlanta prior to that. I ain't never been to LA prior to that. You know what I'm saying? So mm. it's beneficial. Mm. Getting to the right, um, right stages. You know, right years. What's one learn? What's one thing you learned being out there on the road? Um, that everybody is passionate about what they doing. Mm -hmm. And that it just makes it like, not that it's competition, but it's like. It's so much to weed through for you to, you know, stay what you mean? out. Like, it was a lot of people or genres. Yeah. No, no, not drama. Just not. I'm not saying drama. Genres. Oh, genres. No, like just in the like yeah, genres and like just mu music artists in, in a whole. Like it's so many inspiring, you know, people that's trying to do the music shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially like I said, you you just named Kelly and uh and now she's yeah. in L.A. 
everybody actors yeah. that like bro it's weird to see so it's like how the fuck do you I everybody do media like it's yeah i agree everybody doing it so it's just like yeah i, I like, still gotta damn this man okay that i be feeling yeah. the same Taking way taking notes and everything you be, it's like a really inspiration. It's mm -hmm. like, damn, okay, shit. I thought it was over for me. Right. For real, for real. Still out here getting it. I'm just man. My shit. For real, for, for real. real. Nah, I gotta ask. What's one? What's one mistake you see a lot of artists make, if any? Thinking that they uh, ain't got much to do. Mm. But there's so much to do. Right. So there's much. So much to do. So many. So much. Yeah. Artists, y'all take notes. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much to do. Especially when you, you know, when you're investing in your craft and you you're working a nine to five and you you know, you got kids or you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You just and still trying try still trying to do this shit. Like I say, you fresh out the J, boom, boom, boom. Right. And like I say motherfuckers getting ready for their next day. Exactly. <laughs> that shit crazy, man, but shit, you chase your dreams, yeah. want shit to come to friction or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Any features uh coming up with like with any artists in the city? Um yeah, I got songs with um D Banks. Okay, um, shout out Banks. <clears throat> um Monet. Shout out Monet. Um Lil Lo Deezy. Um, shout out Lil Deezy, Lil Rock. You know, drama boy, DJ drama, drama boy. Drama boy show, dude. Shout out Sante drama boy. Love. Oh, you, you know, working? Yeah, we got here working. Anybody else who wants to feed us, man, come holler at me. I'm ready. Man, y'all hit the fucking uh, link in our bio. What's the uh, writing process like when you're in the studio? Like, is it paying the paper? You got your phone, the beast? Yeah. Like, what is like, you know? Cause like yeah. I said, the music be so damn subtle, but so damn, like, it has a meaning to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely paying the paper. I can't. I can't do it on the phone because, you know, I can write and I can, like, half write a word, but I know what that word is. You know what right. I'm saying? Nah, I can for real. keep going and I can actually read it, but give it to somebody else. They're like, what is this? I can't read this, but I know what it is. Gotcha. You know? So, yeah. pen and paper for sure. Backstreet shit, man. Mm -hmm. Anybody you want to send some last minute love to? Some shout outs to? Um, for sure. Shout out to um, the whole H-Town for just showing love, you know. Um, shout out to Soren High Entertainment. Yeah, shout for out real, for to real. Lady Nate for show. Sure. What's it like working with Lady Nate? Uh, Lady Nate, she a uh, little, a little something. <laughs> nah, but she everything. Shout like, out K now, nah, no yeah, bullshit. She, yeah, she everything. Like, like I said, just from the first night at the getaway, you know, just the love I received, the, you know. But they still connection. stuck around. What made you still kick it? I guess still be, I, I don't want to say loyal because I don't want to make you feel like nobody else was disloyal, but what right. make you still keep it together yeah, despite I mean, the bullshit? Yeah, because shit, she showed nothing but love to me, you know, like, I ain't got nothing to do with that. nobody else, but what me Thanks. and her got, or what me and her, you know what I'm saying, so, I mean, you treat me with love and respect, you get that back. And you don't seem like a a, a person that you care about confrontation and book no, drama and... No. She like that. All that up. So I didn't even see how you mix with everybody, but you know, I'll just do the media thing. Yeah, Backstreet shit, how people can tap in with you, follow you, um, all that great stuff. Yep, yeah. LFL by Mill on all major platforms. That's L, the number four, L B Y M I L A. Um, that's Instagram, all music platforms, um, Twitter, all that good stuff. You know, music is out right now. Mm -hmm. Love, what does that shit mean to you? Like, if you could sum it all up, man, what does love mean to you? Love, unconditional, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a feeling. It's a, I don't know. It's just what it's, it's inside everybody, you know. Love. It's inside everybody, but as a lady, the world be kind of hate, full of right? hatred. That's still love there, though. Yeah. That's the crazy part about it, man. Backstreets with cold shit, man.